Hi guys, today we will have a look at this uh, vintage Tommy toy from 1979. I found it at the flea market and as you can see it is a Space Invader game. So I remember that it come in uh, different flavors. There was a car race one with uh, Space Invaders and maybe one or two other ones. I remember playing and repairing them back in the 80s. So we will have a look at the gameplay and then uh, we will uh, open it and see uh, all the fancy mechanical works inside. So there is a timer here, uh, hit counter here, fire button, the small wheel to uh, move your cannon and the main power switch. So made by uh, Tommy. Copyright 1979, made in Singapore. So, let's go. So, it is quite sad, there is not internal light. On the screen of this one is in very bad condition. Well, the window, not the screen, actually. So, let's go. You have to fire, and... You can see the missile is a light. And it moves with your cannon. It makes a horrible noise to, to hit the master ship. And it is all mechanical works inside with electrical contacts. No electronics at all, no integrated circuits, no silicium bullshit, bullshit only wires, contacts and uh, mechanical parts. It is almost done. So it, sometimes it doesn't work correctly. As you can see, I uh, just traveled this one without hitting them. And it is done. So how many points do I have? I have uh, 30 eight points so you can see the ships the UFOs here are on a clear plastic band with uh, holes as a film camera film so I will open it to show you the contents so I did unscrew the cover remove the wheel here and here is how it looks like inside so as you can see there is a mechanical box with a motor somewhere in here. It is all the mechanical brain of the thing. Here are the two uh, plastic bands with uh, UFOs and you can see the holes must uh, go together with uh, UFO at the other side. And there is a contact which is made when uh, the holes pass through a metal wiper or something like this. Here is your small UFO. So I will remove this uh, red plastic. We will see better. Here is the heat counter. Very, very simple uh, digital counter. And it is almost everything. So let me remove the, this uh, red plastic and I will, I will uh, power it again for you. So here is the red plastic. In fact, it just uh, filters the light. Uh, allow to pass the light from the missile and from the explosion icon. Here is your small cannon I can pack back in, back in place. Mm, maybe it is not necessary. So, as you can see, there is some kind of uh, trolley here which uh, goes uh, left and right. And uh, your missile goes together with the uh, explosion. And there are some kind of shaft with a rotary uh, sp spiral contact around it, it seems. So let me power it again. Here we are. I will try to hit. It does not work so well when it is opened. So it is quite a fail. Here we are. 
So as you can see, it is all a deal of uh, moving contacts that are supposed to make contact when uh, at the correct time. But when the cover with the cover removed, it is not holding uh, correctly in place. So it is not working so well. So here is a better view for you of the thing. I will not take it apart further because. It will be very hard to reassemble, I believe. But I remember, uh, sadly, taking them, uh, several of them apart in the 80s. My mother was uh, working in, an, uh, in a toy renting uh, house. And uh, we had several of them. And I was on duty to repair them. Along with all the other electronic toys, or electrical toys. So here we are for this thing, I hope you enjoy it, they are quite hard to find by now so if you find them in flea markets, take them because uh, they will uh, take some value uh, in the future I think. Thanks for watching, bye bye.